Okay, now the demonstrators are heading to the French embassy to also support the stopping of the construction of the pipeline that they think the European Union was right to resolute that it should be stopped until the rights of Ugandans are being respected. Right now, we are heading there. Thank you for following Ghetto TV and um, my name is Ashraf Kassidye. Yes, one of the torture victims, and that's where we are heading right now. The police is monitoring them and giving them security. Everywhere! People power! People power! Ugandans are dying! You 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 are dying! Stop stop eco Stop stop eco Stop stop eco Stop Stop Na yenga mwangu wa nyo And what I've seen here in the USA is where you see the USA police has all races in it. Now, when Ugandans ask to be protected as they demonstrate, they were given police officers of the race of the Chinese people. But they have to follow the law. They can't attack these people. Talk to the police. Talk to the police. So the Chinese police officers have to respect the law. They are the ones protecting those demonstrating on the Chinese embassy. But USA is a freedom country. You must do what you do while following the law. This must happen in Uganda. This must happen in Uganda. Anyway, Ugandans are fighting to get back their freedom that has been taken away by Mr. Museven and his team. Janet Kataha Museven is one of the biggest murderers in the country. Also miss her out. Why? Because Museven said one time that you can attack me, abuse me, but leave my family outside of the echo, outside of whatever you're doing. But the point is Janet Museven is one of the biggest murderers in the country. If we as journalists were allowed to do investigations, one of the children who died some time back because of impregnating one of the children 
of Janet Katam Seven. He was killed and the baby boy was killed. That story went in the dark. Why? Because Janet Kataka can't be talked about. You remember that? Many things have happened behind the doors of Janet Kataha Museven. You understand? So the point is that freedom, that follow of the law should be respected in every country. Why? Not being given by the leaders, but it should be respected because we are created with it. You understand? So the point is Ugandans are starving. Ugandans are suffering. They want their freedom back. They want their country back. It's not something is as hard as you think. If the leaders could respect that, then nothing would be done of this caribou. So the point is, these people are demonstrating, they're supporting the EACOP, the EU resolution on stopping the construction of the pipeline from Uganda back to Tanzania. They are saying the environment must be respected. They are saying human rights must be respected. They are saying Ugandans should stop being abducted, killed. You understand? They are saying no one should be tortured. Even if you are presumptive to be a criminal, you should be proven guilty before you're given a punishment. The penal code has everything that we should follow. However, people are being abducted every day, people are being killed every day, no one is being arrested for that. You understand? Yeah, so the point is, Ugandans who are in the US are today demonstrating. They are saying Museven should respect Ugandans. Museven was not elected in the recent elections. That's why he keeps on killing Ugandans that proved to be on the side that is not his side. Now, China, President Xi Jinping has very many crimes. Right now where I am, there is a woman who has a photo of a man, I don't know whether he's a brother or a sister or a husband, who was arrested and I don't know why she's here, but take a look, she's a Chinese woman, take a look, this man. So this woman is saying the Chinese president should stop leaving China. Can you imagine? Ukrainians are suffering and now Chinese are also suffering. So the crime is for the dictator Museven to work with fellow dictators.
Okay, now what I was telling you, Xi Jinping is the president of China who has done the worst not only to Ugandans but also to the Chinese people. These people are Chinese who are demonstrating this way in the US, trying to show that they are suffering. You can't imagine the lady had his man being arrested, being tortured to death. And now the woman is saying Xi Jinping leave China. Ugandans are saying Xi Jinping leave Uganda. The same thing. So Ugandans are saying you guys, Mr. Museve, leave the country. Leave the country. Give it back to the people. Ugandans are saying leave Uganda. Leave Uganda. Leave Uganda. That is the only message these people are sending to Xi Jinping, to Mr. Museven and his team. You have lived for more than 36 years, heading to 40. Isn't that enough? You are not being erected. Since 2006, 2001, in fact, you have not been elected. Dr. Besige won the elections four times but you rigged the elections and took away his power from him. Beyond that, in 2011, you did the same thing. In 2015, you did the same thing. You did the same thing. Many people have died. In 2021, to date you are killing Ugandans. Why? Because they are not on your side. Can you imagine? So the point is, Museven is working with the dictators all over the world. That is Putin, that is Xi Jinping, and of course, many people are saying, no man, leave Uganda alone. It's just a simple message that could be responded to. That could be responded to. Heading to the French embassy for the second demonstration. The Ugandans are now heading to the French embassy to see that the message is saturated. They want the French people to respect the EU parliament because MPs came out and said EACOP should stop for now until the following things are respected. And these are Ugandans trying to send the same message. of the people who have led Uganda into the sister's way it is.
But what Kusevin fears most are the messengers. He fears the messengers. He fears the people, generous like me, who come out and say we are siding with Ugandans. Those who are being killed, those who are being abducted, those who are facing. Yeah, this is Uganda house. I mean both this Uganda house. But if you get the real story behind it now, you will laugh and cry. You will laugh and cry. So people are saying they don't want money. They don't want anything. This is Uganda house. People are saying they don't want anything apart from being liberated, being out of the dictatorship that has gone on to abducts torture, kill, without any officer being arrested and being tortured. The man who shot me is Enoch Abaine. I know his face. He's a police officer and yes, he's doing his work. My case is in court but no one is bothering. You know, I'm looking for money to have the second surgery. I'll be having it from the government because they're the ones who shot me. But because Museven fears the messengers, nothing can be done in this country until dictatorship is away and out of the country. The message here, torture, Maniacs, brute, and vampires feasting on Ugandans. Janet Museveni, the ex wife of Museveni, she's ex wife by the way. Muhoska in Rugaba, the stepson of Janet Museveni, Sari Musale, the brother of Museveni, and Tibuhabura Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. These people lead the team of those who. A maniacs, brutes, vampires who abduct and kill Ugandans because they are on the Twaring again, Take a look at these drones being used to abduct Ugandans and no one is being arrested or being asked questions why are these people being abducted they have guns they are they are not in uniform they don't give you their names whatever they do they just come out and do whatever they want to do arrest abduct torture kill and nothing is being done so the person who claims to be the president of uganda yoweri kagutam seven doesn't matter whatever happens to those that are opening on his regime Hey, I don't 
Olivia Lutaya, Mutua want to have We want our people. 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 We because that is under the law. People have the right to demonstrate and do their work. And yes, these Ugandans are expressing their views. Museven recently passed the Computer Misuse Act, brought in by one of the MPs in Kampala. Can you imagine? Ugandans are not allowed to speak out whatever is being done to them. If you say anything, what if Kasaga was arrested, tortured, abducted and tortured uh, some other man, Gaza, my good friend Gaza, my good friend uh, uh, Abitex, many other people have been arrested and abducted and tortured. Why? Because they are using the internet to express themselves. That is wrong, very wrong, very wrong. The rights must be respected before France, China and all other countries gain from the oil of Uganda, gain from the crude oil and also the environment and the rights of Ugandans. This message goes to Linda Green. This message goes to Linda Green. We know you've been in Uganda. We know you want to support the dictator. Look into the torture of Ugandans. Look into the suffering of Ugandans before you can make a decision. Linda Green, Mwana Oye, Mwana Oye, Linda Green, you should get out and see what Ugandans are going through. Linda Green. <laughs> Now I'm going to tell you some little story which happened recently in COVID-19. After a short while here, you get to know what is happening in Uganda. You, the international community that are listening, that are watching, we know many of you are watching and you know what Ugandans are crying for. So the message is coming. Wait a bit. Our power. 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 Our power.
We are here at the UN our office of uh, at the US mission to the United mission to the United Nations. Yes. So we want to call out the hypocrisy of the US. Yes. yes. Because we all know US gives dictator Museveni about one billion US dollars every year. Yes. We know it is US that is training Museveni to kill us. Yes. We know it is US that is financing our abuse of human rights in Uganda. Yes. It is time. To tell the president of the US, President Biden, it is time to change the failed foreign policy of the US in Uganda. It is time for US to stop dining with dictators. It is time for US to sideline or to Because Museveni neglects the liberal order. Museveni is a threat to Africa. Museveni is a threat to Uganda. So we call upon the ambassador of the US to the UN. Call out the, the dictatorship of Museveni. Refuse to give the platform of the UN to Museveni. Isolate him. Stop funding him. Because any penny you give him, it means you're funding a process in Uganda. We cannot allow a genocide to go on yes. when the U.S. is watching on. Yes. It is time to say enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. Mr. Machete, Sigirinya Muhammad, Alan Sawanyana, all political prisoners. Getting numbers, was tortured here in New York, getting treatment. But she was tortured as Ms. Seven tried to fabricate the Constitution. And yes, one article was changed and he was allowed to contest at the age of over 75. He's now 78 as he claims. But why? Because he wants to be a leader forever? No. The Ghanaians are saying something must be done for the regime to stop using whatever it uses for Ugandans to be tortured, to be abducted, to be killed, and so to be taken by one person, one clip. That is the seven and his clip. Hey. Hey. 
Bawa kira kom Muruganda. Ugandans, we are sick and tired of Museveni. Museveni, to Aku Kowa, to Aku Aku Namgalu, Bobby Wayne, Aku Aku Namgalu. He has to be a champion. He has to be a champion. Museveni, Osafu Kalamoja. Museveni, he has to be a champion. 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 All you're not a Ugandan, we're second in your hand. This you're not a Ugandan. China, this is Uganda house. By the way, it's not meant to hate the Rwandese people because they are also human beings. But M7 has made Ugandans to express their views as if they hate the Rwandese people. No, they don't hate the Rwandese, the Rwandese people. The Rwandese people are human beings. And the point is, M7 is using that as something that makes these people of a tribe that hates his tribe. Mr. Museven came from Rwanda. We have the evidence about that. Museven is not an uncle person, but he claims he's an uncle person. The uncle people are suffering. Can you imagine? Listen to the messages. <laughs> running away. One of those enjoying the Ugandan money, enjoying the Ugandan money here in New York, yet they know whatever is happening in the country is not good for the people of Uganda. This house does not benefit Ugandans. Yet Idi Amin bought it on behalf of Ugandans when he was president, but now Mr. Museven and his play are benefiting from whatever Uganda owned many years ago. They haven't added on anything to the road they construct. There is no Ebola in Uganda. No lockdown for Uganda. Oh, 
in Uganda. We want to know why people are still able to travel and come here. Selected few are able to travel and come here while other Ugandans are struggling to get permission to come. Why does it take longer for NUP people to get visas? Why does it... Wh what is their relationship with China? What is their relationship with France? Why is this information not public, yet resources are, Ugand are for all Ugandans? That's why we are here. We want to let them know that we are watching. We are watching very closely, and we will not tire until things change in our country. For God and my country. That is Haman Aineviona, the chairperson of the diaspora team here in USA. And he's doing a great job. Uh, based on what I've seen so far, the few days I've been here, all these people, join them to the others who are not here, are doing a great job of trying to liberate their country from the dictatorship, from tortures, from murders, from abductions, from death. The heritage system of Uganda is not as good as anyone would expect. Ugandans pay taxes every day. Every day Ugandans pay taxes, but those taxes are used to buy weapons for the Special Forces Command, SFC. You understand? So people always die without getting the medications that they pay for. Oh God, that's why Ugandans are struggling, are suffering. That's why Ugandans are rising up to say 
Uganda must be liberated. They are singing the national anthem to show the love of their country. Thank you for watching Geta TV, that's a channel, and many other online TVs, for example. Sitawa Uganda is a channel, Map Media is a channel, Mission Media, Mission TV is a channel, um, Bobby Diehard is a channel, uh, many photographers that the struggle have, uh, many people who have taken up whatever they can do to be part of the struggle to liberate their country. We thank you and we say, if Uganda gets where it wants to go, one day, we all jubilate. Mab Media, uh, uh, Bobby Diehard, Sitawa Uganda, um, Mention Media, Oru Julido. Ghetto TV has several channels, channel one, channel two. We're soon to get the next channel. Many people like Omukulembeze, that gentleman has his channel. Uh, they all try to raise the voice. If your voice ends in your house, these channels will always help you to raise it up to go to the international community, to go to the international community, the international leaders who fund the government of Mr. Museveni to make sure they also consider the rights of the people Museven claims to be leading. You can't imagine. Museven claims to be an elected leader of Uganda, yet he doesn't care about the rights of the people he says elected him. Museven wasn't elected for more than um, five, six times. He hasn't been elected. And the first time he came after killing Ugandans, he killed more than 500 Ugandans. Some people say a million Ugandans to come into power, but see what he has done. The economy, the Ugandan shillings is one shilling of Kenya costs more than 32 shillings of Uganda. That means if you have 10,000 of Kenya, you have 320,000 and beyond sometimes of Uganda. Can that work? One shilling of Uganda costs more than 3,800 shilling uh, dollars of US. Can you imagine? One shilling of Uganda, you must have more than 4,000 shillings to have just one euro. And these people of EU are saying, why this? Stop the air cop, respect the human rights, respect the environment, and respect whatever needs to be respected so that you can go ahead and the manufacture the money that you bring to us, the EU people, so that you can also give you the services that you might need. However, many countries continue to um, to fund Museveni's, um, Museveni's army, the SFC, they give him the money to be used on other things, and uses that money to fund the SFC that protects him. That is wrong. So Ugandans are saying, this must stop. This must stop. This must stop. 
this must stop. Now they are heading to the embassy, the French embassy, to also call upon the Toto, to call upon the government, to call upon Macron, the president, to stop banning Mr. Museveni until democracy. Okay. So, Uganda is ahead of the French embassy to say that it must respect the resolution of the European Union. <laughs> Heading to the embassy of France here in the US to also call upon French President Macron that you know what? Ugandan lives are far better than the Museven you want to hope give him funds to construct the pipeline that he is going to use to continue abusing the rights of Ugandans, continue abducting, killing, buying weapons. You know, he causes wars. Now Congo is suffering because Museveni sent his son Muhoz to go there and cause war for several reasons. You know, people are suffering in East Africa because President Museveni thinks he has all the rights to control the lives of the people without having them. Being respected and above all, killing them, abducting them, pressuring them, and not allowing them to speak out. So these Ugandans are sending the message. And you know, such demonstrations have always hoped. Martin Luther King once said, it's better to fight while using your voice than fight while using the weapons. And the voices are far more hard than the killers themselves. Hitler killed very many people, but again, he was once defeated. You understand? But the people that fought for civil rights here in the USA under Martin Luther King won and they are still winning to death. So Ugandans are saying, we are taking that route. And America allows them to express themselves under the law. <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, the French embassy is on this building, and now the message comes to them. On this building is where they are going to speak out and make sure their voices are heard on this building. Okay, the French government rents an apartment here where its embassy is, and the Ghanans are here to send a message once again. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's some kind of construction around here, but everything will go on as planned. Something up in Uganda. It's a time in Uganda. And you are listening to our voices. We are coming here to you know, all the communities of Uganda. We are not ready to smoke. So the thing, to the thing, it gets in Uganda. It gets in the sky. And the fact is supported by the young man to be in the second. Mustafa is not an American president. We don't need an American president. From the world, we let you know that the equality is in the sky. And everyone who is standing with Mustafa is not an American president. You get to do all the questions of business. You are not a legitimate. You are not a legitimate. We 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 are Behind me is the French embassy, and those people are standing across there, being allowed to demonstrate freely as Ugandans, as Ugandans trying to express their views. Our power! Our power! Stop! Stop! 
Don't you get some more? 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 Yes. Yeah. 
to stand up for our country. Yeah. It is time to say to the city, yeah. you are not going to go. Yes. 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 Sister Remy Bahati is also joined, has also joined us. The way you see her, she's now filming, doing her work as a journalist. Remember, her family was attacked recently, and she's here joining us, joining the Ugandans, joining the Ugandans who are demonstrating against the ear of construction. It is a storm. Ego is a danger to the present and future generations of Uganda. Yes. The deals behind Ego are a top secret. Yes. They are a dirty secret. Yes. It is dirty business. Yes. Ego is a scam. Yes. Stop Ego now. Yes. Stop Ego now. Stop Ego now. Stop Ego now. Stop Ego now. Yes. 
Fa bana Uganda stuzimani ila wetuna funa kuendezo mtu ubla mlukupu senda garu ya sasa ah biyo this is a kind of abuse but I hope the message goes on Okay, the addresses are still going on. I wanted to tell you this Morocco story during COVID. Now, during COVID, many agencies, international bodies, came out to assist countries in Africa. Now, Uganda, we got um, the assistance from the uh, uh, International Monetary Fund, that is the IMF. You can't imagine, IMF gave us $2 billion. Can I say it again? Two billion dollars. I was an active journalist by then. I saw one of the papers that confirmed that. Can you really be told as a Ugandan where that money went? So the regime these people are coming up against is a corrupt regime. Ugandans can't ever decide what their money can do. Ugandans can't ask any question on the misuse of their money, yet such money is usually paid back. Now, recently the president, uh, elected the president, Robert Chiagulani Sentamu said, every citizen of Uganda, a child you give birth to, you the old person, a woman, a man, all citizens of Uganda, everyone has a debt of 1.8 million shillings. So it is a crime to be born in Uganda. The moment you get born, <laughs> the first thing you have to do is to look for that money and pay it. So that be the situation under which we live in our own country. Yet in other countries like Qatar, someone is born and he has whatever he or she needs to be a citizen of that country. But in Uganda, you are born someone who is indebted with a debt of 1.8 million shillings. In Kenya, you only need to have 30 something thousand to have a million shillings of, Kenya, of Uganda. And it's very easy to get that 30 something shillings of Kenya. In Uganda, you need to work so hard for more than eight months for you to get one million. And the way it goes out of your pocket or your wallet, you can't even defend. The way you spend it is the quickest you can ever see in the world. So inflation is at its height in the country. And above that, the taxes we pay do not benefit us as Ugandans. And when you come out to speak about such things, you are either shot, abducted, or like Romu Bahat here, your family is attacked because you're speaking about the wrong things they do in their country. So these are the things with Uganda saying total to stop finding the construction of the pipeline. Run, leave Africa. 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 Run, leave Africa.
It is becoming a little bit more cold, and that is a nightmare to me. So I think I'll very soon sign out uh, because the environment is becoming as hard as it is. Yeah, winter is very soon starting this side. So if you see me offline, I will have served you the best I could at least for today. I thank the Ugandan SWA, the side led by Harmony Aineviona under the National Inter Platform and People Power. I know other leaders, the FDC leaders, wherever they are, the DP leaders, and even the NRM leaders who believe that their party is not doing enough to benefit the country they claim they are leading. We all know they are not leading that country rightly. But of because course, we have the guns. And now it's a hidden message. We, we are not happy that the French Embassy is funding the uh, oil production in Uganda. We are not happy. We are not happy. The French Embassy. The French Embassy.
Now they are heading to the French embassy gate and they wind up their demonstrations. They expect to come back once again. Um, Yes, the world must have heard these Ugandans and they insist they will return and send the same message to the dictator Yoweri Museveni. And the Ugandans continue to insist that they will come back and demonstrate. They will continue demonstrating until that time when the international community hears their voices and acts. Because Mr. Seven and his team are not truly democratically elected leaders of this country, and they can't allow that. And they can't allow that to continue going. Ugandans are being abducted, being tortured, being killed, because they are opposing the regime that wasn't even duly elected. The president has never been elected fairly since 2001. At least I can openly say that Mr. SJ has all the evidence that can confirm him having been elected since 2001. But in seven rigged the elections, was declared by the Electoral Commission chairpersons from Chigundu to be Abakama. And all we see, Ugandans being killed, 
Why? Because they side with those on the opposition of Museveni's regime. So these Ugandans are here to send a message to Ugandans, to the international community, and they have been advised by their leaders, such as Robert Chablain Sentam, that demonstrations really work. And all of us have been advised by the former leaders, such as Martin Luther King, such as Nelson Mandela, that demonstrations really work and the voices get heard. So demonstrations have to be undermined. That's why Ugandans in the diaspora are using it as a tool to raise up their voices, to be heard, and for all their needs to be catered for. And therefore, France should stop funding AirCop until the reasons that were raised by the European Union Parliament are catered for by the regime that killing the leading Ugandans. Just one 
Okay, finally, the demonstration here is done at the embassy, and I think Ugandans feel like they have done something for today, and the message continues to move. Those who can share, share, and rise the message of the liberation of Uganda, all countries, the international community should be alerted on what to do, what to find, who did the founding. Ugandans deserve the best. Ugandans deserve the best. And these people are determined at this. Give out some of their time of working, of taking care of their families, to come and demonstrate against this dictatorship. You already Kaguta Museven and his team. That is Jeremy Bahachi, one of our colleagues. He came this way to study and work. But again, when she started doing her job as a journalist, we all know what has happened to her, her family, back home. And yes, everyone is not safe. Ikudingi Abdu Naduri. Hey, including Nyakairima, including Nobo Mayombo, including Jakana Naduri, including the former Speaker of Parliament, Jacobo Lanya, including Zake Francis, including Bobby Wayne himself, including me, Ashraf Kassirie a journalist, including whoever lives, born, and has a share on the country as a citizen, no one is safe. We are all unsafe until Mr. Museveni leaves the country because he has never been elected as a true leader of the country since 2001 and to date killing Ugandans to keep himself in power. Rabogo heads groups of people that export organs of Ugandans to this, to the abroad and sell them. Anyway, I'm going to say bye bye to you guys. That has been the day today. And thanks for following, for listening. Next time we shall have better stream livings, stream lives on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. Keep following us, keep saturating the message. And right now, I want to say bye bye to you guys. Yeah.